Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you a Huawei router that I personally use and have been using for almost two years. Uh, it's a 4G router made by Huawei. So if Huawei is banned in your country, then good luck with that. But if it is not banned in your country, then you came to the right spot. Uh, the, its model number is uh, B315S. So its model number is B315S and it is a 4G router and uh, to tell you how it's different from normal 4G devices and why it is called a 4G router, look at this one. This is a 4G device. For example, in Pakistan, it works with a Zong device, and the network operator that this device is locked to is called Zong. So this is a 4G SIM, uh, sort of 4G device that works with Zong, and it only emits Wi-Fi signals, and you can use those uh, Wi-Fi signals when wherever you are, wherever there is an access to 4G this on the other hand is a router i mean you can use it connect it with your lan network inside your home and it will become an access point it will, it will start emitting wi-fi signals so it will become a router for you or you can insert a 4g sim right here and it will become a 4g router for you it will start emitting the uh, 4g uh, convert that 4g internet into wi-fi that you can use um, Behind it, you can see for three LAN ports that you can use to take internet out of it. And then if you want to use it as an access point, then you have this WAN port that you can plug it in. And then you can take that, uh, then you can make this one emit Wi-Fi signals of that internet. And then we have the USB port as well, from which you can uh, plug in a USB and make that data accessible on the network. And then we have a 12 volt standard power port and this is a very special port i will come back to this one a bit later I, I really like this one this one this port part is for 4g sim this takes a full size 4g sim so keep that in mind because it's a bit old model right now i have plugged it in a data sim on this part if you look at it there are, there are ports for two external antennas that you can use to extend the range of this uh, device to gather more signals in fact it already has two built-in antennas and it gathers way more signals than this uh, work on so because for example in some places this device wasn't able to gather even a single signal 4g signal but this one gathered at least two or three and it kept working without using external antennas so its built-in antennas are also really powerful but if you want to, you can use two external antennas. They can be long range that you put on top of your roof, or they can be small range like these one. These one 4G antennas that you can easily buy, and you can plug them directly in, on the back of this device. You will really need them because uh, I found the built in antennas to be more than enough gather signal strength but these ports are here just in case you need them like this and on top of that this device is not locked to any network this router will work with any same gsm same and put a full size 4g sim or normal calling sim inside it and it will work just fine On top, you have the standard power and WPS buttons that you can use for pairing. And uh, on front, we have different lights. This is a power on off light. This is an internet state light, like which mode it is in. The con uh, color of this light changes from red to dark green to, uh, sorry, dark blue to uh, very light blue. And uh, then there, so each one represents 4G, 3G, 2G, and no G at all, like no signals at all. This is when the Wi-Fi it starts emitting the Wi-Fi signals and it gives you that it is emitting Wi-Fi signals. This is when you are using it in a LAN mode or a router mode. The last one just gives you the signal strength. If it shows you three signals, then it means that it is getting full signals. Let me actually turn it on and show you these lights in action. <clears throat> these some are in the white color lights are really light so they are usually not easy to see 
but i think this will be very prominent right now it is in red color which means there is no signal and soon i think it will convert to there you go this is the color like greenish color it means that it has 4g right now it will go to dark green if it had 3g so right now it has 4g access so you can see that this color the signal strength colors are also full which means good signal strength this is also on which means wi-fi is running now the last part this board you can use this board to connect to your old style telephone with it this telephone it's been years since i used this telephone but if you put a normal calling scene inside this 4g router then you can use the pet internet using that sim and you can also use your old style telephone with it so internet plus telephone both can work with this one and on top of it because this router has more uh, coverage for gathering signals that means that whenever you are not getting enough signals on your smartphone if you connect your uh, telephone and put your sim inside this one it will gather more signals and there is a strong chance that you will be able to gather more signals and use this kind of telephone to make a call so i think this is really neat thing you i this is on top of what you already have then bunch of features that this router already provides and uh, let me make a call see so, because the operator uh, replied that means that it is connected to the network correctly so the number of features that this uh, router has are more than enough for anybody they are more than one can ask for that's why i keep it with me and uh, through i also run it on power banks as well if you're not aware how to run 12 volt routers or 9 volt routers or any 9 volt or 12 volt device on with a power bank then check out one of my previous videos in my channel and that in that video you will be able to see that i share a converter a very small and very cheap converter that you can use to upscale or upgrade or boost your 5 volt power bank uh, crunch to 12 volt so you can also run it on a power bank to make it a battery battery powered and i actually use it on a power bank it costed me around hundred dollars hundred dollars and uh, i will leave the link to buy this one in my video description and you can also find the real price at the time of editing this video right here and uh, if you've used this one please do share your feedback what you think of the video and this router please take great care of yourself bye